Hello everyone, it's Jen, and in today's video I am going to be telling you guys 10 things that you probably didn't know caused acne. If you are eating right, and if you're getting plenty of sleep, and you're not stressed out, and you're taking care of your skin and washing your face every day, but you have no idea why you're breaking out, these things I'm about to inform you about are probably, maybe, the reason why. So, let's get right into it. The first thing you probably didn't know caused acne is coffee. I know, we all love coffee. It's amazing. There's different flavors, there's different kinds. It's great for waking us up in the morning. It tastes good, but it could be playing a role in why you're breaking out. So why does it make you break out? Why does it give you pimples? Well, coffee is very acidic. And since coffee is acidic, it raises the acidity in your body and it throws off your pH balance. You know the pH balance? Basic, acidic, that stuff, if you have too much acid in your body and too much acidic chemicals, it can actually cause inflammation in different areas of your body, but especially on your face. This inflammation commonly shows up around the mouth, so if you're someone who breaks out mostly around the mouth area, it's probably because of coffee, if you are drinking coffee. So to fix this, I would definitely recommend maybe drinking coffee less, only drink it when you really need it. For me, I personally don't drink coffee, I drink green tea every morning, it's great for me, so if you're looking for a more healthy alternative to keep you awake in the morning, I would definitely recommend green tea with caffeine in it or drink more water or something like that just to balance the pH in your system. Number two, showers. Yeah, what? That doesn't make any sense, right? I thought showers were supposed to clean yourself and get rid of all the dirt and bacteria on your face, but you thought wrong, my friend. It's not necessarily the shower you're taking, but it could be the water that's coming out of it or the shower head itself. If you have a really old shower head, chances are some metals might be coming out of that into the water. So there's metals and certain minerals in your water that aren't necessarily good for your skin. What's so bad about the metals in the water? Well, the metals and minerals that come out of that shower head into the water onto your body can actually also throw off the pH balance in your body. The metals and minerals in the water can actually oxidize your skin, which means that it's basically throwing off the pH levels in your skin. Now a lot of you might be thinking, what does the pH balance have to do with your skin? Well, if the pH levels on your skin are imbalanced, that could actually cause the amino acids on your skin to become compromised, so that means they become exposed. The amino acids are what protect your skin from all those harsh chemicals, but because it can't be protected from that, it'll end up exposing your skin and that'll cause breakouts. Another thing that doesn't really help is that the minerals and metals in the water going onto your skin actually leave behind residue that can mix together with the dirt and bacteria that's already in your skin and just cause more breakouts and blemishes. So what can you do to fix this? Well, you can try buying a new shower head. If you've been using a shower head for a really long time, chances are it's probably old and it's not cleaned out, so definitely would buy a new shower head. If you don't want to buy a new shower head, then you can go ahead and just this sounds annoying and it sounds like a lot of work, but this is actually something that I do personally because I thought that it might have something to do with my acne, is I didn't, I, I tried my best not to get my face wet in the shower. So I would just like lean back and try to only get my hair wet and not my face. And what I would do is after I got out of the shower, I would just wash my face individually with distilled water or water from my sink because that's typically a lot better for you than the water coming from the shower head. Number three, this is kind of a controversial one, but too much sun and not enough sun. Well, that sounds confusing, but I'll explain why. If you're not going in the sun enough, there's a chance that your body probably doesn't have enough vitamin D, and vitamin D is very, very important when it comes to your skin because if you don't have enough vitamin D, it can actually weaken your immune system, and not only can you get sick quicker, but all the bad bacteria can get into your body, and that bad bacteria usually is what causes breakouts. So make sure you're getting enough sun, drink your orange juice, it's really important, and just, you know, again, don't get too much sun, and I'll get to that in a minute, but just get enough to where you have enough vitamin D so your immune system's stronger and none of that bad bacteria can get into your system and cause breakouts. So that brings me to the second part of this is that you do not want too much sun. Now I was told in my teen years that if you go out into the sun, it'll burn away your acne. That's actually what my dad told me, and I should not have listened to him because that is not true. And a lot of people think that that's what happens. It does not burn away your acne, it actually can make it worse. The reason why people think that the sun can clear your acne or burn away your acne is because 
since your acne is already red and you go into the sun and you get a sunburn, your whole skin's gonna get red. So it just kind of looks like your skin's clear because it's all blended together. But what's actually happening to your skin is that the sun or having a sunburn really dries out your skin. And having dry skin is not good because the drier your skin is, the more oil it produces, which causes more breakouts. Your skin produces natural oil to begin with, but what, the drier your skin is, the more oil your skin's gonna produce. And usually the more the oil, the worse the oil is for your skin. There's a healthy amount, but you can't have too much oil production or it will cause you to break out. So if you do so happen to get a sunburn, make sure that you moisturize, put on aloe vera, do anything you can to keep your skin hydrated so your face doesn't overproduce any oil. If you are going out into the sun, make sure you wear sunscreen. Sunscreen is super duper important for your skincare routine. And that actually brings me to my next point. Since I just talked about having too much sun or not enough sun and wearing sunscreen, that's actually something else that could cause acne, not using the right sunscreen. For me, I noticed that I actually break out more in the summer than I do in any other seasons, and I didn't really know why, and I later found out that it was because of the sunscreen that I was using. I don't remember which sunscreen I was using, but I remember that the sunscreen I was using had a chemical called, shoot, I don't remember. Let me look it up for a second. Avo, avobenzone which is linked to irritation and inflammation on the skin. So a lot of sunscreens contain that chemical. It is not good for your skin at all. And it's especially not good for people like me that have very sensitive and acne prone skin. So if you're like me and you notice that certain sunscreens might make you break out or you break out more in the summer, it might be because your sunscreen contains that chemical. So what I would recommend doing is getting a sunscreen that has all natural products. So an all natural sunscreen. So the next thing that can make you break out, which I'm sure some of you guys have probably already heard about, is your phone. Yep, your best friend, my best friend, it can betray you. You are constantly touching your phone all day, every day. Your hands have been in so many different places. Who knows how many times a day you might wash them. It's just all these germs and bacteria are on your phone. Oil on your hands gets on the phone as well. So when all that gets on your phone screen and you put that phone onto your face, Hello, it's gonna cause breakouts. So the obvious solution to this is just wipe down your phone regularly. Do it like once a day if you can. Just take a wet wipe or a Lysol wipe or anything like that and wipe down your phone just so, you know, it's kept clean. And just in case you get a phone call or you do talk on the phone, you won't have to worry about all the dirt and bacteria and germs getting onto your face and causing breakouts. The next thing that could cause breakouts is beards. Yup. Men's beards, that scruff that we all love, the things that are so sexy on a guy, can make you break out. If there is a guy, let's say, when you're making out and you're rubbing your face all over his beard, it causes friction on your skin, which not only irritates it, but it causes over oil production on your skin. When your skin becomes irritated, your skin wants to produce more oil to soothe it away. And not only that, but who knows how clean that guy's beard is. His beard, obviously, it's hair. Hair produces its own oil. So it's like his skin oil and his hair oil are all mixing together on the old face and causing breakouts. One solution to, 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 to huh, what? One solution to this could be just to ask him to shave his beard. And if he's not willing to do that, well then, find another man with no beard. <laughs> another thing you could do, I mean, it's not something you're gonna do, but it's something you have to ask him to do, is to rub his beard with coconut oil so that way the hairs aren't as sharp and prickly and it's smoother on your skin. And his beard will feel really good as well. The next thing that could be causing your breakouts is spicy food. Now I know a lot of people love to eat spicy food, but if you're the kind of person who likes spicy foods and you're breaking out, that might be one of the reasons why. So spicy foods contain a certain chemical in it called, I don't I forget what it's called, acidic, let me look it up again. Acidic ly lycopene, lysopene. I have no idea how to pronounce this word. If you know how to pronounce this word, let me know in the comments. But obviously spicy food, it hurts. It hurts your mouth, it hurts your inside. So it could be an irritant to some people and because it's so acidic and it's irritating to your body, that's gonna throw off your pH levels and again, cause you to break out like I just mentioned in the coffee with the pH balance as well. What's the solution to this? Just don't eat spicy foods or eat less, like eat spicy foods less often if you can. If you really like spicy foods, I mean, if it's worth the breakouts, then go for it. But I would definitely recommend maybe taking a break on the spicy foods and just see if that helps. And if it doesn't, then by all means, go right back to eating. 
The next thing that could be causing you to break out is your laundry detergent. Now this is something that can not only cause acne on your face, but on your body as well. So once you take out your laundry after it's done and you put on your clothes, there might be some residue left on your clothes from the harsh chemicals in the detergent that could be irritating to your skin. And especially if it's on your body, that could leave you with chest acne, back acne, and even butt acne, which is... Never pretty. So I would say for this, if you're the kind of person who struggles more with body acne rather than face acne, I would definitely go for a detergent that doesn't have much scent to it and has no dyes. So it's like clear. It's like a natural looking detergent. Um, also try to find one that is meant for sensitive skin because there are detergents out there that are targeted specifically for people who have sensitive skin. And last but not least, hats. Hats, yes, that's a thing. They can also be a huge factor to breakouts, especially on your forehead area. If you're wearing a hat, it's usually if it's on a really hot day, right? And if it's on a hot day, chances are you're gonna sweat and you're gonna sweat through that hat. When you wear a hat, it's trapping the sweat. And when sweat is trapped, it causes bacteria. So all the sweat and bacteria is mixing onto your forehead area and that's gonna cause breakouts. Especially if you're wearing a tight hat, it's going to clog your pores and that's just not good for your skin. And usually when you wear a hat, sometimes your head will itch, or at least for me, that's what I've noticed. Like my forehead itches, like sometimes I'll lift my hat and I'm just like, mm -hmm. and hello, that's touching your face. You're not supposed to touch your face because all the oils and the germs and the dirt and bacteria on your hands that you don't see are being transferred onto your skin, which is just gonna cause you to break out more. My solution to this, if you have mostly acne on your forehead, just try to stop wearing hats and see if that works out for you. And if it doesn't, then by all means, go right back to wearing hats and be that fashionable bitch out on the street. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope that was helpful and maybe you guys will take into consideration if some of these things might be what are causing your acne and trying it out, you know, trial and error, that whole thing. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Click the little circle icon right here to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all my social media down below, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!